Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical almost. object that, that you just can't live without. Can I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is but think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! Are you all right? Uh. Mother? Oh shit, your hand! So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, Mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you... if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But... I trusted you. No, Sarah! Don't! No! No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay... You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. 
It's getting late. Why don't why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Well, I've devoted myself to the interests of France to the best of my abilities. A few years ago, I had a brush with some of your fellow countrymen. Counter-revolutionaries, I'd imagine. Exactly. They got away. Thanks to a little diversion I came up with to keep the sans culotte away. Believe me, they came close to adorning the walls of the catacombs of Paris. So that young French diplomat was you? The mercy you showed the agents of the Queen roused the admiration of the court. Few would have let them leave France alive. Duchess, I'm surprised that anyone still remembers. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me. What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Oh, Emily, I am marked for life. I'm sure you leave your mark on every man who crosses your path. Pardon? That extravagant uniqueness with its rare blend of whimsical banality and cat-like curiosity. There's a veil of mystery around you that only adds to your charm and your curves. You would enchant any man. Hold it, Louis. You've lost me there. It's as though you have several women hidden inside you, Emily. I mustn't share my true feelings about you. If I ever dared, I... I... No, dare not, Louis. Better that way. You go and take a deep breath, and we'll forget all about it. Hey, hey, Emily, you've gone all red. Are you, are you blushing? Right, time to go to the manor. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Honey, the remedy of the gods. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet. 
Delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, we are searching the caves again because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. That handkerchief belongs to me. Please hand it over now. But, sir, I... I'll speak directly to your master about it. It will be a very long conversation. Uh, uh, of course, sir. Please take it. On that note, I must leave you, sir. There is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. It is indeed your handkerchief, mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? There's no way I'm leaving without finding out about Mother.